Hey guys, uh, thought we'd take a little bit closer look at uh, some of the things I pulled out of the creek the other day. Um, this is not everything, but uh, some of the more interesting uh, pieces. So uh, I'm going to start up here at the top. Um, this is a really large, one of these, what I call an icicle shape type hammerstone or pestle. Um, this one here is so big, I'm not real sure what they may have used this for. It's probably about a seven or eight pound piece. But it's been all taken out of the top, as you can see up here, um, all pecked out. Um, it could have been maybe used as a stake or something like that, or some kind of weight, that it being so big. Um, not really sure, but um, anyway brought it home maybe should have left it in the creek i don't know if it's much but definitely a piece that's uh that was used for something but i'm not 100 percent sure and this piece here is um uh, pretty sure is a pestle or a hammer uh, you can see all the notches that have been uh, chipped out of the side there and polished off um I assume that that was for finger, you know, for the finger slotting. Um, a lot of oil on it. Uh, so that tool, when you see all that oil on it, kind of tells you that it was used a lot. But um, that's also a pretty big piece too. Um, but um, again, I'm not 100% sure on this one. It's uh, a little interesting with all those grooves in it. But... Uh, that top there being kind of pecked out, smoothed off, tells me they uh, they probably had their finger or thumbs up on that, so they probably held it somehow. But I'm not 100% sure. Been pecked out in here. Anyway, pretty neat piece there. I just kind of really like the way that looked with all the uh, the grooves in it. So uh, brought her home. And this is just a really nice, small pecking stone. This is a left-hander. Um, it's grooved out right in through here. And uh, so your fingers are laying there and then your thumb on that, that way. So you got to kind of check these things. Sometimes I'm right-handed and they just don't feel right in my, my right hand. And then when I put them in my left hand, then I, I realize they're a left-handed tool. That's what that is. Nice and polished off, nice little piece. Pretty worn on the end there. And this is what I call my duck head type pestles here. Um, kind of shaped like a duck head. And notched out in the back there. And kind of chipped out front. Um, I have some people tell me that these these things were hafted, some of them, but I don't I don't think this one was. It's just too small, I think, to be hafted. But um, anyway, it's what I call a duckhead pecking stone or pestle. And this is just your little small um, quartz pecking stone. This one's really been worked, um, um, chipped off and polished. They polish two sides usually really well, and then the sides that they work off, they do polish those, this side and that side, but it's not near as polished as uh, this side and, and this side, or the two, two sides that, um, for whatever reason, aren't as polished. I'm not real sure. And not real sure about this one. This could be a Warren axe. Uh, doesn't have a lot of wear on it. Um, uh, usually Warren axes were not an everyday tool that were used, so they don't they don't have much wear on them. And um, so that's that's how I kind of surmise certain um, stones were Warren axes, just by trying to find whether or not they're you know the way they look and whether or not they have a lot of wear on them. And that one does not. And it's kind of indented right there. It could have been hafted, you know, like that. Um, 
and used it as a worn axe. But don't think it was used as a chipping stone because it just doesn't have a whole, or a pecking stone, doesn't have a whole lot of wear on it. And this is another pretty interesting tool here. This, this also could have been hafted. I saw online where a guy had some pieces like this and he surmised that they were hafted right in here. And um, they would actually be set on a flat part of the stick that was that was um, chiseled out, and then the two sides would be kind of wrapped around the top like that, and then they would um, bind it with uh, with leather or um, you know hemp or something like that onto a stick, so that it would actually be kind of like that. But I don't know. It's been chipped out in the back, and that I don't know. That usually tells me that that you know that's for a finger or a thumb to, to rest in there. So I don't know if that was a hafted piece or not. Uh, getting to the older icicle type pestles or chipping stones, pecking stones. I've been finding a fair amount of these and that's made of granite. Um, not sure how old that is. I think they're pretty old. Here's another one very similar. This is made of quartz. Um, That's an old piece. Just seems to be old anyway. It's really smooth at the top. Um, been chipped out all through here. Pretty crude piece. Uh, this is a cell or axe head here. This is a really old piece too, I think. Um, this is made out of a out of granite really it's got a lot of pecking marks on it as you can see this thing was really worked down i think you used a lot there's the uh striking edge of it right there but um yeah axe head or celt i guess you could call it you know a technical word would be celt i would say but uh it's not made out of the hematite where you can really get a really nice edge on it, granite, and uh, soft granite too, relatively soft. So but I think that's a pretty old piece. And this is this black stone, and I'm not sure what this was. I did, it, it was, I think it's a broke piece here because that, that seems to be a fresh break. They're fairly sharp edges, but I would have loved to have seen what this was in its entirety. It has really, um, really been worked and polished. So I'm not sure what it was, but um, really pretty neat piece. Like I said, I'd love to see this thing in its entirety, but I'm pretty sure it was a broke here. It's a broke piece. Smooth as glass. You see where it's been worked all the way around, polished. Here's a little braider, a smaller braider that, uh, probably the smallest braider I've ever found. So they must have used some really small shafts going through there on that, uh, on that edge right here to take off the bark and knots. But that's a little one. I thought it was pretty neat. And this, um, I'm pretty sure this is a worn axe or an axe head. Doesn't have any wear marks on it hardly at all. Um, and I think it was hafted right in here. Or hafted like this, probably more like that. Pretty neat little piece. <clears throat> and this is a blade or a arrowhead sharpener um, stone sharpening stones got a really nice groove in there where they ran those blades and arrowheads through to sharpen them up it's made out of quartz pretty nice piece
probably the best example of this I've, I've got. And I think this is probably um, either a little scraper. Um, it's made out of that um, kind of black stone. It could be a seed planter also. They use, use these kind of uh, stones that look kind of like this uh, to actually plant seeds with. So that could be a could be a seed planter. That or that or a scraper. And these I know are scrapers. These are as black stone. This is a black stone scraper. Um, been polished off real nice and. Use these to uh, scrape hides or condition hides. Here's a little bit smaller one here. But that black stone's real dense, makes a good tool, real hard stone. But anyway, I thought I'd go over what I found the other day. I, I did do a little video on the creek with this stuff, but uh, uh, just having a little closer look at it and um, appreciate you guys tuning in.